Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot my, um, I forgot. That's Nina in her red period. That's when she was on top doing what she's doing. But then I also understand Nina was a classically trained pianist, and that was her passion. She basically fell into doing singing, which was a gift in itself, and she gave us a lot in that realm. But her, she really wanted to be that piano, going to um, Carnegie Hall and, and playing her classical piece, but as it wasn't um, perceived that she could do that. So I, I don't know, she never became successful in that. But And then of course Prince, Prince. why he's there, because he passed away last year, and for me and for my husband, imprinted on us immensely. Mm -hmm. So. Um, Prince is also there because he threw off his slave name and, well, so he called because of yeah, his, his, you know, I guess his, um, his, um, his uh, name, his, I um, can't get the word, but his um, show business name mm -hmm. and yeah. the side he's going to name himself, which goes with the Keisha premises as well. And, you know, it was a bad. <laughs> Bad meaning good. So I really love his spirit as well. And I guess that's it. <laughs> Any questions? Uh, just a comment. Your presentation is Fantastic. equal to your. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So can you explain yes. a little more about Keisha? I, Keisha, I her daughter. Oh, okay. Yeah. Keisha was a, um, she, I, I did an exhibit. She's right there. <laughs> <laughs> where, where is she? No, no, no. Her name is not. Yeah, her name is actually Savannah. That's the name. Yeah. But who, which one? Which Keisha? Reba, <laughs> Reba and, and Savannah. Savannah. The whole premise of the Keisha um, three pieces. Oh, I forgot that one. Yeah. Keisha was about um, African American. <laughs> she left herself out. <laughs> <laughs> Taking back their power by naming their kids because we, we adopted the European names. And so they yeah, wanted to, in, in the, oh. I guess it's the um, yes. 70s, 60s, 70s, 60s, 70s, 70s, where we were creating these. New names, Keisha, Taishan, I mean, we have the boys, Tanika, yeah. and all these names, and that is us taking back our power, creating names that mean something to us. Um, it wasn't connected back to Africa using, because we did have some going back to using African names, but in this period we had creative Americans creating these amazing names, and that was them taking back their power, the naming of their children, the power of, of using something that means Sorry. something. Sorry. And so huh? my huh? interpretation of this project was my daughters. They may not have those creative names, but when we named our children, we searched deeply for meaning behind names and even the connection to our, uh, which everybody does that, <laughs> you know, connection to family members and things like that. Um, so my daughter, who is studying law, and at this period I was also, I figured out I would do portrait of my quiches, which is, there was supposed to be one, of, it was a generational thing of the four women I find, it was supposed to be five, my mother-in-law, my mother, and my daughter. And so, um, Reva, her interest is, is law, so at that time there was the, um, uh, the, the Black Lives Matter was going on, and I, you know, and I wanted to, you know, personify who she is and what she's supposed to bring to the table as the strong African American woman, mm -hmm. and I think her contribution will be in the justice area, mm -hmm. um, and and then I figured with my daughter, she is an artist, mm -hmm. as well as she likes doing coding and, and science. So I, at that period, she was exploring doing coding, and this, there's a whole movement of um, African-American, um, uh, what do you call it, uh, uh, engineer. And I forgot the woman in um, California, but she started the whole um, black girls code, mm -hmm. and this is uh, girls coding 
Mm -hmm. She's spurring on that whole engineer engineering aspect with women, mm -hmm. young girls, because when she walks into the room to do projects, she goes to men. Mm -hmm. And so this is her contribution and this main challenge, you know, connecting her works with what Savannah's doing. Mm -hmm. And uh, myself, I just did a, a this piece is a self-portrait. Um, pay homage to some of the artists that I've come across as we did art shows with uh, some of the female artists in the Florida area. So I have um, some artists from Palm Coast. We have one from who was from uh, Tampa. We have a couple artists from Jacksonville. And then one, I think Joyce Hayes is from Orlando area. Mm -hmm. So these were women that I found inspired my, they were quiches to me as well because they were doing art. And I know in the black art field, we know a lot of the men in the historical black men in art. Mm -hmm. There's only a few women we can pull out. Mm -hmm. So for me, I was paying homage to the ones that I connected with. And we have one who's here, which is Doreen Hardy. Yes, Doreen. Which is an amazing landscape, um, impressionistic, semi-impressionistic artist who does some amazing work. Yeah. And to me, she's one of my quiches. Mm, and, <laughs> and, and I have a dear friend who passed away this year, one of uh, an artist, diva, if you if you know her, you know she's a diva. Um, Alice Johnson. Yes. Oh, Alice, Alice Johnson, Johnson passed away. Yes, she did. And oh, she when I did this, oh, she hit the night. She hit the night. She she hit the night. Wow. And when I did this piece, I wanted. I was like, I gotta make sure Alice sees this piece because I want to say that. Look, I put you on top because I, you know, I I'm giving you honor as one of our, you know, our elders. Mm -hmm. Not because your age, because Alice never showed that age. Right. Never showed that age. That age was not an age. So I was trying to say, Alice, I want to see this piece. I want to see it. Come on. And I, I was asking all our artist friends, where is she? But she was missing from the scene. And finally, I got in touch with her. And I said, Alice, you know, what's going on? Well, and I. And she goes, are you kidding me? I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. And I said, Alice, I was kind of scared. Where, what's going on? But she was in the hospital rehabbing. And then, you know, I was, of course we do this all the time. I, I'll come and see you. You know, I got time. Well, she, I felt the urgency. And then she reassured me that I got time. I'm not going anywhere. And with her spirit, what am I to say? She, she's, you know she's going to be here. And then, she gave us a great piece of art over the summer about two years ago. Is it that that piece on wood? Yes, it's a whole about three. The panel. Pieces. Yeah, she gave us the panel. <laughs> we got the panel. Good. I'm glad you got it. Did she? She wanted. She wanted to give it to the, the Black that History Month. Well, wow. yeah, she gave us the I'm, panel. I'm, 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 I about enjoy the seeing when you put it up. Yeah, that is an awesome. It is an piece. awesome piece. Yeah. That she gave us the panel. Where is it? Yes. It's, um, <laughs> <laughs> it is amazing. We'll do our permanent collection. It'll be out. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. okay. That is a wonderful piece. Yeah. That's, That's in the really pinnacle really of her, her. Yeah, she brought that down to us purposely. We were doing a summer glad. camp. I'm and so she glad. brought that to us and she gave us the history, the background, you know. That is a story. piece she did for the YSG, the first yeah, black history yeah. show. Yeah. And she won an award for it. Yeah, she gave that piece to us. The panel is a gorgeous panel. And, and I'm hoping that maybe this year, as a, um, we do something for the anniversary, mm -hmm. that people can bring in their art. Because she has a good. Uh, body of collectors she in this does. in this area that we can bring her pieces mm -hmm. and show you know how we respected her as an artist while she was alive because if you bought a piece while she was alive you did your job you respected her as an artist so and there's a lot of collectors so I we'll, we'll figure out what we're going to do for her because uh, like like that should not go just go away mm -hmm. so that's the show. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Well, Round of applause. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. There are, for those who just came in, you know, 
She's here for questions about her pieces. There's I'm sorry, I had my back to you. Yeah. There are refreshments in the back.